Elon Reeve for us, born June 28, 1971, is an American entrepreneur, inventor, and business magnate. He is the founder, CTO, and CEO of SpaceX, CEO and production architect of Tesla Incorporated, founder of The Boring Company, and also the founder of Neuralink and OpenAI. With estimated earnings of around 240 billion US dollars through April 2022, Musk is the richest person in the world according to both the Bloomberg Billionaires Index and Forbes. After attending commerce at Queen's School of Business for two years, Musk earned a bachelor's degree in economics from the Wharton School of the University of Pennsylvania and a bachelor's in physics. Musk continues to study PhD physics to Stanford University in 1995, but only attended classes for two days to continue his career by establishing Zip2, Musk also played a role in the founding of PayPal. Musk has three nationalities, namely South Africa, Canada, and the United States. Musk is the founder of several popular technology companies, including SpaceX which is engaged in space technology, Tesla Incorporated engaged in the automotive sector, OpenAI, SolarCity, Neuralink, as well as several other companies. Musk stated that he founded these companies with the aim of changing the world and human life, including reducing global warming through increasing the production and consumption of renewable energy. He also hopes to reduce the risk of extinction of humanity by improving the technology to live on other planets, particularly on Mars. Life needs more than solving everyday problems. You have to be awake and excited about the future. I think that's the single best piece of advice, constantly think about how you could do something better and question yourself. If you're trying to make a company, it's like baking a cake. You must have all the ingredients in the right proportions. The only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. I think we have an obligation to maintain the light of consciousness to ensure it continues into the future. Don't confuse school with education. I didn't go to Harvard, but the people I work for do. You have to take the approach that you are wrong. Your goal is not to get too wrong. My children didn't choose to be born, I chose to have children. They owe me nothing, I owe them everything. Science is discovering essential truths about what exists in the universe, engineering is about creating things that never were. When I was a kid, there was one thing I said, I never want to be alone. That's what I will say. If something is important enough, you should try even if the possible result is failure. You are paid in proportion to the difficulty of the problems you solve. I think it's really important to have feedback, where you're constantly thinking about what you've done and how you could have done it better. Constantly looking for criticism. Well thought out criticism of anything you do is worth its weight in gold. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I just try to think about the future and not be sad. One of the biggest mistakes we make is trying to automate things that are very easy for a person to do, but very difficult for a robot to do. I really love computer games, but if I make a really great computer game, how much impact will it have on the world? I take the position that I am always wrong to some degree, and the aspiration is to be less wrong. One of the really hard things is figuring out what questions to ask. Once you know the question, then the answer is relatively easy. I have come to the conclusion that we should aspire to increase the scope and scale of human consciousness in order to better understand what questions to ask. Really, the only thing that makes sense is to strive for greater collective enlightenment. I'm not trying to be anyone's savior. I just try to think about the future and not be sad. The first step is establishing that something is possible, then the probability that it will occur. My biggest mistake is probably relying too much on one's talent and not one's personality. I think it's important for someone to have a good heart. My motivation for all of my companies is to get involved in something that I think will have a significant impact on the world. Some people don't like change, but you need to accept change if the alternative is disastrous.